lessons that are learned early in life, mm -hmm. they tend to stick a lifetime. Mm -hmm. If we cultivate these positive money habits, mm -hmm. if we start it early mm -hmm. from that child, mm -hmm. you are sure mm -hmm. by the time they are where I am, mm -hmm. in a place of decision making, mm -hmm. I'll be a more informed person. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you're watching us from. Uh, my name is Simon K on the Financial Diet. Happy to be here. Always looking forward to share with you a few financial wisdoms that will help you get better financially. We always say in this program that we always have three categories of people financially astute and they're financially struggling and them that are in between. And our hope and prayer is that the ones that are struggling and the ones that are in between will get to the finan financially astute level and stay there. Uh, your financial wellness, that is our concern. And we always make sure that we bring you information that makes you grow and get better. I said, uh, like food, financial disciplines, you have to put them uh, into practice every day. You can't say that I ate in January, so in February I'll not be eating. Every day you have to keep eating. You have to keep uh, making sure that you exercise some of these disciplines to make you stay financially healthy. And on this show, I, I, I promised you last time that we'll be having guests and guests and guests this year. We'll do more and more of that. I'm happy and privileged to be having one financial uh, a money coach with us to talk to us about money. And uh, I think I'm happy to have you here. And I would like her to introduce herself. Karibu uh, sana. Asante sana. Hey. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I am actually honored to be here this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I am Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I am a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Apart from that, I am a mother, I am a wife, mm -hmm. and I am a finance advisor, I am a money coach. Mm -hmm. I'm especially passionate about children. Mm -hmm. Children, teenagers, mm -hmm. young adults, mm -hmm. uh, to cultivate positive money habits, mm -hmm. skills and other attitudes, mm -hmm. maybe from another age, mm -hmm. for a time of financial well-being. Wow. Apart from the children, mm -hmm. I also, I did not start with the children, maybe we'll talk about that more. Mm -hmm. So apart from the children, I also help people with their savings needs, mm -hmm. uh, retirement planning, mm -hmm. uh, investment planning, mm -hmm. my ideas just about money, mm -hmm. personal finance. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Wow, wow. I, I'm actually reminded of a conversation we were having before we started uh, about how when we were growing up, uh, many of us were never taught about money. Actually, in the school curriculum, uh, very few, I don't think there are courses. We, we talk about mathematics that has nothing to do with money, physics has nothing to do with money. Many courses, they do not uh, really... Uh, bring in that uh, money aspect from a very tender age. So why the desire and why the, you said you're passionate about uh, money with the kids. So why kids? <laughs> yeah, I actually when we were growing up, mm -hmm. most of us, mm -hmm. the money subject was just silent. Mm -hmm. Nobody said nothing. We were taught many other things. Mm -hmm. Just like you're saying mathematics, mm -hmm. Uh, even how to look for God, for example. Mm -hmm. But you know, the money subject has just been silent. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also never thought about it to start with initially. Mm -hmm. When I got this calling, and I always say, for me, it is a calling. Mm -hmm. The power it came with mm -hmm. in me, mm -hmm. it was not from within. Mm -hmm. It was from, it was divine. Mm -hmm. uh, and I started training mm -hmm. adults. I never thought children would learn about money mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So I went into groups of people, mm -hmm. churches, uh, chamas, yeah. other groups of people, mm -hmm. just teaching them the basics of money. Mm -hmm. And you know, one thing kept coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I had met you. People kept saying, mm -hmm. I wish I had met you when I was a bit younger. Mm -hmm. Or I should have heard what you have said today mm -hmm. when I was a bit younger. Mm -hmm. And the mistakes that I've done mm -hmm. around money, mm -hmm. or not have done them. Mm -hmm. And you know that one kept coming. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we went, it kept coming. That mm -hmm. information, people kept seeing that. Mm -hmm. Until by that time, I already had a small team in place. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. And we were already moving, teaching uh, or training about money, mm -hmm. pro bono. Yeah, yeah. And when people kept seeing that, we knew there's a group we are leaving behind, mm -hmm. the children. Mm -hmm. And when we went back to the children, yeah. it uh, overtook everything else. Mm -hmm. It became our signature mm -hmm. solution that uh, we give. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we felt we are being called back to the children mm -hmm. uh, because we are in agreement that 
uh, reasons that are rant mm -hmm. are in life. Mm -hmm. They tend to stick a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Had we ourselves mm -hmm. uh, been told anything to do with money, had this conversation happened mm -hmm. when we were younger, mm -hmm. and you know my Bible tells me that uh, train a child mm -hmm. in the way they should go, mm -hmm. and when they are old, they will not they depart, will not from, depart that way. from that. Mm -hmm. And most of the things that we we do who we are today mm -hmm. is a product of how we were brought up. Mm -hmm. The conversations that we had, what mm -hmm. we were exposed to, mm -hmm. uh, the things we were taught. Mm -hmm. So had somebody uh, been intentional about this money subject, mm -hmm. maybe also the mistakes that we have done, mm -hmm. or maybe the vices that are allowed us, mm -hmm. allowed money. Even mm -hmm. in our country, in many communities, mm -hmm. there are so many vices allowed money. Mm -hmm. Because how do we deal with money? What we were we told when we were growing up? The subject was just silent. Yeah, we weren't told about what we do with money. Actually, when we thought about money, what com comes to mind is what money does to people. We see people flying around the world, driving good cars, living in good places, but we're not told how to get that money. We only know the end result, the, the, the other end of, of, of money. So the disciplines that we are, we are supposed to have they are never inculcated in our lives. They are never. We we we're never told uh, when you do this, uh, this is supposed to happen. It's just like the law of gravity. If you jump and you are twenty-one floors up, you will not go up. You will definitely come down. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, you, you know, I was telling you about a, a place that I'd, I'd gone to give a talk about money, and the questions. It was a. Uh, a, a primary school, one of these good schools, and the conversations that we were having about money, the questions that were, 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 was being asked were very intelligent questions. Mm -hmm. So as you said, uh, when you bring in this curiosity in kids, all uh, over and above just having a good life and living a good life, uh, what do you need to do to get money? And these conversations from a very tender age, actually in our curriculum, it should be part of that, uh, it becomes very good. So someone would ask you, uh, I, I know you're passionate about kids, why, why, why tell kids about money from a very tender age? You've, we've quoted someone who told you, I wish you came to me earlier. Yeah. So why do you need to talk to people, to young adults, to teenagers, to kids about money at a very uh, tender age? Uh, yeah, actually... Uh, many of us, mm -hmm. uh, all, as I said, lessons that are learned early in life, mm -hmm. they tend to stick a lifetime. Mm -hmm. If we cultivate these uh, positive money habits, mm -hmm. these skills, mm -hmm. uh, these attitudes, mm -hmm. uh, from that age, mm -hmm. children will not uh, depart from them. Mm -hmm. Even the issues that we are facing, mm -hmm. like uh, the issue of corruption is a very huge menace, for example, mm -hmm. in our communities, mm -hmm. in many countries of the world. Mm -hmm. And corruption, mm -hmm. the core of corruption, mm -hmm. is in money. Mm -hmm. Our relationship with money. Mm -hmm. How do we relate with money? Mm -hmm. And we've got people who are very, very talented. Mm -hmm. People who have done very high flying careers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, very artists, for example. Mm -hmm. Or people with good talents mm -hmm. that bring in a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But then, we get the money. So what? Mm -hmm. How do you relate with that money? Mm -hmm. What does that money mean to to you as a person, mm -hmm. what, is, what is the highest need mm -hmm. that this money mm -hmm. meets in your life? What mm -hmm. is your money personality? Mm -hmm. So if had this, uh, if we inculcate mm -hmm. this subject mm -hmm. from an age, right mm -hmm. from from um, the earliest, mm -hmm. and for example, a three-year-old. When my son was three years old, mm -hmm. I used to send him to the shop. Mm -hmm. I believe three year olds go to the shop, for example, yeah. go and buy milk or mm -hmm. whatever it else, mm -hmm. and bring back the change. Mm -hmm. That's a financial conversation right there happening. Mm -hmm. But then we are not aware of it, that mm -hmm. we are holding the money conversation, because mm -hmm. what were we told ourselves? So what do we tell our children? So really, if we started from an age, mm -hmm. uh, that person who... who uh, those virtues or those uh, skills that we cultivate mm -hmm. will remain with that child mm -hmm. for a lifetime. But, but you see, uh, as you said, I, you, 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 t you talked about corruption. And uh, one of the things that comes to mind, especially in this country, and I think that's what the kids pick up, that the corrupt are living a good life. They're driving the best, they're living in the best places, and they are 
uh, are, the kids would aspire to have such kind of a life, to have such kind of money uh, through corrupt means. And you will hear them saying that I will study hard to be a politician. Why? Because a politician uh, has uh, this uh, access to money, of, uh, access to CDF, access to government tenders and all these things. And that money brings them a good lifestyle. So why wouldn't a kid desire that? Because that is what they're seeing. You, 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 you've talked about inculcating these habits from a tender age. Yeah. And, and, and uh, in the, in, I'm specifically talking about uh, this country, Kenya. We, you find people, especially kids, they're not told about what not to do. They're yeah. only told corruption is bad. Mm -hmm. But why are you telling me corruption is bad? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, and you see, I see a good life from members of parliament. Them, they're living a good life, they're living huge, they're traveling the world. Uh, some of them have uh, their families and other families, extra families. Someone would want that kind of a life. So why would, in, would I endeavor to learn about uh, this financial literacy right now at a tender age? And I know all I need to do is aspire to go that direction or become a police officer. Uh, someone was telling me uh, they were told that their, their, nephew, their, nie their niece wants to be a policewoman. And she was wondering, Boy. wow, <laughs> wow. But, but what comes to mind is the end result, you know. Yeah, so why, 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 why? I, I've asked the why, but what should be taught to young kids? Um, and uh, let me say, because you have touched the, the issue of, of corruption, for example, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the big lives that they live, and mm -hmm. uh, politicians and the like. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you, mm -hmm. it's only, those are the cases, mm -hmm. some of the cases that we have had mm -hmm. of corruption, mm -hmm. those are just some of them. Mm -hmm. And there is this vice is very, very deep in mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it is deep. It deeper entrenched. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then uh, also, uh, had we told our children, all those people who are so much into it, because mm -hmm. they are those and they are living those lives, <laughs> you know? A good life. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then my Bible is very, very clear. Mm -hmm. It tells me that stolen waters, mm -hmm. because corruption is about uh, accessing money that is not yours, mm -hmm. or right to free is supposed to be yours. Mm -hmm. It is actually stolen. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet, mm -hmm. but it gets to the mouth mm -hmm. and it turns into gravel. Mm -hmm. you, do, you don't want to imagine gravel in your own mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we had that, mm -hmm. or we have got that uh, knowledge, mm -hmm. the, looking at it from that perspective, mm -hmm. making sure all relating with money, mm -hmm. uh, the right way, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. treating money or the way it should be, giving it the place mm -hmm. it is supposed to have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have to have money mm -hmm. for me to live that good life. Mm -hmm. Definitely money is, is, a, is something that we need, all of us. Mm -hmm. But really, can we put it in the right place? Mm -hmm. Can we relate with, the right, with it the right way? Mm -hmm. Can we uh, be aware of what is this need mm -hmm. that money meets in my life mm -hmm. so that I don't worship that money, for example, mm -hmm. or I don't use that, that money does not destroy who I am, the mm -hmm. core of me. Mm -hmm. So, and some of these things, mm -hmm. you cannot come to tell somebody like me mm -hmm. who has already had it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is not too late for me as well. Mm -hmm. But if we start it early, Mm -hmm. from that child, mm -hmm. you are sure mm -hmm. by the time they are where I am, mm -hmm. in a place of decision making, mm -hmm. I'll be a more informed person. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. So, um, what, what, do, what, what do, need, do kids need to know about money? Okay. Uh, like budgeting is good. Mm -hmm. You can budget for your money. Mm -hmm. This is how you can save for your money. Mm -hmm. And that is actually what uh, our finance literacy program mm -hmm. involves. Mm -hmm. We have had charities ourselves, mm -hmm. even doing that small personal budget. Mm -hmm. It is a charity for most of us mm -hmm. because we don't know even where to start. Mm -hmm. So kids need to know budgeting is good. Mm -hmm. 
it is not money that is evil. Mm -hmm. There's that first in first money that is always misquoted. Mm -hmm. That money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. It is not money is the root of all evil. It's the love. It is the love of money. Mm. You know? Money is good. Money is good <laughs> by all means. Yeah, it answereth all things. <laughs> Very important. Yeah, so mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. are the things we teach them. You, there's a way you can relate with your money mm -hmm. and it turns out to be money wasted. So mm -hmm. how can you avoid mm -hmm. uh, money wasted? Mm -hmm. Where are the places that you can uh, you can save? Mm -hmm. What is an investment? Mm -hmm. How can you invest? Mm -hmm. You know, you put that information in a child's mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. And by the time they are where the decisions are part of, that li of their lives, when mm -hmm. they are making that decision, mm -hmm. they're empowered. Mm -hmm. yeah. So budgeting and... Uh, and and, and uh, uh, what other what other things that a kid, a young adult, a teenager needs to know about money? Oh, uh, like money wasted, mm -hmm. money wasted, mm -hmm. wastage. Mm -hmm. I go to weddings mm -hmm. and I leave there feeling very very sad. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, when I go to, for weddings, I've gone for weddings <laughs> and left there feeling sad. You're supposed to be happy. You know Why what you makes me sad? sad? Uh huh. The amount of money wastage, for example, mm -hmm. that happens there. People fo serve food, mm -hmm. huge heaps of food mm -hmm. that they cannot finish. By the time that waiter is coming correcting the plates, mm -hmm. they are all half eaten. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we discuss with kids is that wasted food mm -hmm. equals wasted money. Wow. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. And I am looking at those plates and I'm uh, doing the calculations. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody put so much food? And they are just going to eat. So assuming a plate, a plate is costing, um, for a hypothetical number, let's say 500 shillings. Definitely. So you eat half of that. So you've only eaten to 50, to 50 is wasted. Can you imagine? If you are a thousand of you, that is 250,000 wasted. wasted. Can you, wow. just as basic as Mm -hmm. Wasted food mm -hmm. equals wasted money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pu putting that or telling that to a child mm -hmm. means a lot. So you put what you can finish. Definitely. Uh -huh. If we saved like, let's say even we wasted a quarter. Mm -hmm. Out of the 200 people we are, we mm -hmm. wasted a quarter of the, of the print. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you imagine if we did not, if there was no that wastage, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. much money could have been saved? Yeah. Like a child, when they lose their pencil mm -hmm. in school mm -hmm. or their book or mm -hmm. their, their sweater, I've had even my children who have lost their bags in school. Mm -hmm. So how much money have been lost by losing that bag? Mm -hmm. And even the opportunity cost, we also mm -hmm. teach them the opportunity cost. Mm -hmm. Teach them that stuff cost money. Mm -hmm. Doing a, a, a shopping list, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. Those are the, some of the things that uh, we do in the money club. We call it the money club. Mm -hmm. Can you do a, a shopping list mm -hmm. so that you know mm -hmm. uh, these, are the, these are the things that I need. They will cost me this much. Mm -hmm. Is there something that I can take mm -hmm. that is an, an alternative mm -hmm. of whatever it is that I'm buying? Mm -hmm. Do I have something else at home that mm -hmm. can meet the same... Uh, the same need. Mm -hmm. We also teach needs and wants. Mm -hmm. There's a big, huge difference between a need mm -hmm. and a want. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we just spend our money on wants. Mm -hmm. And we get so, so stressed. Mm -hmm. And they're just wants. Mm -hmm. And wants are something that you can do without. Mm -hmm. Needs are things that you cannot do without. So we put that difference okay. between a need and a want. And, a want. It, uh, and, and what do you tell a kid that tells you you live once? You only... YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> You only live once. Yeah. You know, I live now, I party now, you party, because tomorrow, you don't know about tomorrow. You live now. So what do you tell that kid? Um, or that teenager? Or that young adult? Especially the young adults mm -hmm. that we have, we are in that YOLO. Mm -hmm. uh, my, or my best life now. Mm -hmm. I'm living my best life now. Mm -hmm. But I, I am not against, for example, partying. Mm -hmm. If you need to do that, Mm -hmm. Party, you need to do your birthday party, you mm -hmm. need to do whatever other celebrations. Mm -hmm. You need to f celebrate Valentine, for example. Mm -hmm. The other day we were just celebrating Valentine. Yeah. And it costs money. Mm -hmm. I'm completely not against it. Mm -hmm. I also ha want to treat myself once in a while. Mm -hmm. But please budget for it. Mm -hmm. Can you put it in your budget? Mm -hmm. Can it be among the things that you have uh, estimated that you are going to... Uh, to spend on. Mm -hmm. Because then lack of it mm -hmm. would deny you that YOLO. Mm -hmm. uh, because that is what has gotten many of 
us mm -hmm. deeply into debt. Mm -hmm. So how do you yolo with debt? Mm -hmm. And debt is very, very stressing. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to get in, the, in debt, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. in the name of living your best life now. Mm -hmm. Put a balance. Mm -hmm. I'm not against parting, mm -hmm. not at all. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I, I, I think I want to, to have a stay there for, for a few minutes. Yeah. So how, how, okay, I made a mistake, say, w when I was uh, having a, a hard life, a party life. I am a young, I, I am an, a young adult or a teenager, and I've gotten myself into debt. How do I, what are the disciplines I need to put to untangle myself from that debt? Uh, first of all is agreeing mm -hmm. that two wrongs mm -hmm. don't make a right. Mm -hmm. uh, because now we always find ourselves because we went into parting and we are not budgeted for it. Mm -hmm. So it is, a, uh, it is beyond our means. Mm -hmm. That becomes the first wrong. Mm -hmm. The second wrong that we do, mm -hmm. we go for the mobile loan app. So the first wrong is uh, living beyond our means. Uh -huh. So Okay, that's the second wrong. When it catches up with you, uh -huh. you want to do another wrong mm -hmm. of getting into a wrong. Mm -hmm. And nowadays they're in the rectangular gadgets. Mm -hmm. You just press your phone, mm -hmm. it gives you some money, mm -hmm. a mobile loan, mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's a second wrong. Wow. And so many others now will follow. Mm -hmm. Two wrongs don't make a right. Mm -hmm. The best thing is to appreciate here I am. Mm -hmm. I am deep into debt, mm -hmm. or into this mess, mm -hmm. especially around money. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my situation. Mm -hmm. Can I now start taking steps mm -hmm. uh, to move away from it? Mm -hmm. Even the smallest steps, the baby steps, mm -hmm. they count. Mm -hmm. They count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is never too late for anyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually, now that, that we've talked about the, the, the gadgets, someone was saying in psychology, they're encouraging you to use um, the gadgets or to swipe because you don't feel, you know, the more you don't feel pain, you know, if, 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 if I'm paying 5,000 from my wallet, I have to get into my wallet and count one, two, three, four, five thousand shillings. It becomes painful. But if all I'm doing is swiping, you don't even think about it. You don't even uh, feel pain. If all I'm doing is just uh, tapping some few numbers on my phone, you don't feel about uh, feel pain so even having to move from the phone to withdrawing cash and going there with cash i know people will tell you it's more riskier but it's even riskier even to have it on on your phone definitely mm. definitely mm. and you know um, uh, as, I, as, as we said mm -hmm. the first thing is appreciating mm -hmm where you are mm -hmm. and I, I don't know whether I said I do personalized money coaching. Yes, you did. When somebody is so much deep and they come to me for that personalized journey, mm -hmm. because it's always a journey, mm -hmm. the first thing that I do mm -hmm. is try to remove, uh, to get the cards, at mm -hmm. least stay with the cards, mm -hmm. for example, the ones for swiping mm -hmm. for some period mm -hmm. so that you're used to paying cash. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest lessons that mm -hmm. we teach mm -hmm. is that Pay you for your stuff, mm -hmm. cash, mm -hmm. as much as you can. Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, against the, we are in the digital world. Yep, yeah. <laughs> convenience. <laughs> convenience. Uh -huh. I'm not against that. Mm -hmm. But then we don't want this convenience mm -hmm. to put us uh, into another hole. Mm -hmm. Uh, because, as you said, when you swipe, mm -hmm. you don't feel the pain. Absolutely. But when you pay cash, mm -hmm. you will be able to think twice. Mm -hmm. And even when we are offering the savings solution, mm -hmm. I give you, I don't allow you to put your money, if you really are intentional about it, mm -hmm. your money in your bank account. Mm -hmm. Because like now, if I just press my mobile gadget, mm -hmm. it will pull money from my account mm -hmm. to my phone. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we always encourage mm -hmm. the cash. That mm -hmm. saving, mm -hmm. I, uh, if you, you, of course, you must have a some money mm -hmm. in your account, and mm -hmm. I'm not against banks. Mm -hmm. I, I also hold accounts in every major bank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then, if, if you are saving this intentionally, mm -hmm. I will put or will put your money mm -hmm. in an account where you need at least a day or two mm -hmm. to access that money. By that one oh, or two it's not, days, it's, it's not the one that you have to every day. <laughs> if you need the money, you can be able to access it. You go and start on the wall and press. And press. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.
Uh-huh. For the intention of saving, mm-hmm. uh, not not in the bank, not mm-hmm. in your investor. People tell me I'm saving in name Shwari. Mm-hmm. I mean, money yeah. in your bank is not your money. Yeah, you can be sure of that. Mm-hmm. So we'll put your money in a place where it grows, mm-hmm. and you need at least a day or two mm-hmm. to, to get access to that money. Yeah, so that mm-hmm. this uh, ding ding mm-hmm. is no longer there. Uh, actually, actually, this young generation, they are all used to smart, quick things. You know they want to they want to have money now. You know if I want to spend I want to spend now. If I want to order for something I want to order and it comes now. So what do you tell those people? Here and now mm-hmm. is uh, that here and now mm-hmm. is the one that will put you into so much mess. Mm-hmm. It's a high time mm-hmm. that uh, you know the the more things change, mm-hmm. the more they remain the same. Mm-hmm. As much as we are in the digital age, mm-hmm. the rules of money do not change. Okay. They do not change. So what are these rules that don't change? <laughs> like it is more painful to pay cash, for uh-huh. example. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, pay cash as much as you, uh, as you can. Although mm-hmm. things have changed, we are now have the mobile money mm-hmm. and the digital money and whatever else. Mm-hmm. Uh, pay for your things cash. Mm-hmm. Getting this money mm-hmm. is never easy. The here and now mm-hmm. is what will uh, put you down that, mm-hmm. that hole. Wow. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the things, mm-hmm. one of the things that we learn during mm-hmm. the children finance literacy classes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is moderation. Mm-hmm. Is being able to uh, be moderate mm-hmm. uh, to um, delay gratification. Mm-hmm. You don't want instant gratification mm-hmm. because that is what will put you down the drain. Wow. Yeah. My girlfriend wants this thing now. <laughs> You know, I want to uh, to chafua now. So you say no to that, delayed for a while. Wow, wow, uh, time time really moves fast. <laughs> so um, as we come to a close, so what are the things? What are some of the ways? Um, what are some of the things that you can teach a kid? I know we've talked about a few delayed gratification, yeah. using money, uh, u- using cash now having your money somewhere that you can't get access to like immediately. Uh, what are the things that you, uh, you, you feel that we've not talked about that you feel as you close would be important to uh, throw out there for kids? And, and I think we'll get an hour show to just talk about other things that we've not talked about right now. Okay. Mm. First is to appreciate mm-hmm. that uh, a subject needs to grow mm-hmm. over time. Mm-hmm. Like if you want to drive a car, you can't just wake up and take that car and drive. Mm-hmm. Because you know what you'll do mm-hmm. with that car out there mm-hmm. or with yourself. Mm-hmm. The same way with money. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that's what happens with money for many people. Mm-hmm. It's like waking, a car, waking up one morning, mm-hmm. you've done your degrees, mm-hmm. you have been financed all through. Mm-hmm. The money subject, you, you don't have an idea. Mm-hmm. So you are out there mm-hmm. with your money, a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Because you're so talented or you have this high rank career or... The money, you, you know, you are able to get the money. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like driving a car mm-hmm. when you've not gone to the driving school. Mm-hmm. You can imagine the mess. Mm-hmm. And many have run the hard way through, uh, through trial and error. Mm-hmm. So w- the thing I would say is that uh, we be intentional. Mm-hmm. Even right from home, mm-hmm. can we start having these money conversations? Mm-hmm. Can we, we as parents, for mm-hmm. example, or guardians, mm-hmm. uh, be intentional about the subject? Let the money subject mm-hmm. uh, dominate the dining table. Mm-hmm. Let's let's have these conversations mm-hmm. one way or another. And of course, I've written a few books. I should have brought one yeah. to guide parents because mm-hmm. I realized even mm-hmm. as parents, mm-hmm. we don't know what to tell our children. Mm-hmm. So there are books for teenagers. There mm-hmm. are books for uh, for for children. But mm-hmm. then then apart from what is in the books, mm-hmm. uh, first of all, by showing your children, like from an age, mm-hmm. I said you can send a three-year-old mm-hmm. to the shop. To the shop, yes. You know, that's it's a... Money conversation. Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. Can we show our children mm-hmm. stuff costs money? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. getting this money is not easy. Mm-hmm. Saving is mm-hmm. something that requires inter- intentionality. Mm-hmm. Uh, discipline. It does not just happen. Mm-hmm. Let's be intentional. Mm-hmm. We sometimes we think we don't have money mm-hmm. to do all these things. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's not about the amount of money. Mm-hmm. It is your relationship with that money. Mm-hmm. So let's also teach them opportunity cost, mm-hmm. the foregone alternative. You mm-hmm. can't have everything. Mm-hmm. That ding ding or that here and now. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. it's something that uh, we should, all of us, mm-hmm. whichever age that we are in, mm-hmm. uh, train ourselves, put mm-hmm. it in a budget. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying we don't 
do those parties, for example, or mm -hmm. we don't uh, you use the word chafua mm -hmm. or kupigia mwini pole. Chafua meza, eh. Yeah, yeah. wengine yeah. wanasema wanapigia mwini pole. Uh -huh. so <laughs> pigia mwini pole, uh -huh. not against it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But please, uh -huh. can you budget for it? For it, yeah. And you know, initially it may look difficult, mm -hmm. but as I said, the subject ni cannot uh, grow once, mm -hmm. it grows over what time. time. Yeah. Means you start training yourself, I can do a personal budget. Mm -hmm. I can save some money mm -hmm. away from my bank account. Mm -hmm. You just struggle or I don't have to, to expose myself mm -hmm. to 100% mm -hmm. of my salary. Mm -hmm. I can always expose myself to just 90. Mm -hmm. 90% mm -hmm. and I put this 10% away mm -hmm. in a place that I will not get it whenever you want. I start on the wall. Mm -hmm. You just struggle for mm -hmm one, two months. Mm -hmm. And you know human beings, mm -hmm. we are creatures of habit. Yeah. Yeah. You just train yourself once, mm -hmm. by the second that time, mm -hmm. it becomes your lifestyle. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. And uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm very disappointed that time. It doesn't <laughs> allow us so much time. Because this information you're sharing is important information that we need to put in place from a very tender and an early age. Yeah. And even if you've, if, if uh, as you said, some that tell you that I wish you came earlier. If if you're old, if you're older, you're now at an, an adult, a young adult, not a teenager. If you're a teenager, not uh, a, a kid, whichever place you are at, it's good to start. Put in yeah. place some of these pra uh, practices, mm. and you will not regret. So thank you very much, Elizabeth, for sharing. She has written books, uh, Money Club. Uh, a money club uh, or workbooks uh, for kids for teen for teenagers and uh, you can in one minute talk about some of the books okay yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely have uh, written some books and uh, mm -hmm. I'd want to say that life starts now mm. here and now here now yes yeah mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. never too late mm -hmm. it is never too late for mm -hmm. any of us mm -hmm. yeah. okay yeah. so here and now let's start God bless you. Thank you very much for spending time to listen to us. We will be back uh, with him. I'm not letting her go. We'll make sure that we get as much information from, uh, from her as possible. Uh, and uh, see you next week. God bless you.